The Yarra Valley might be known internationally as one of Australia's best wine regions, but it's golf we were mostly interested in as we headed out to play and stay at the Eastern Golf Club, a relatively young 27-hole Greg Norman design layout in Yearing, in the heart of the Yarra Valley, just 40 minutes drive from Melbourne. We sat down over lunch to discuss our thoughts on the day's experience. Have you pulled up though, mate? You're sore? Well, a little bit sore, I've got to be honest. Um, <laughs> you don't play much these days. Full 18s, anyway. Don't play enough. But, uh, what a great experience, eh? Hey? Yeah. Great fun. I'll tell you what, I, you know what the thing about I loved, loved about that out there the most today? There were stretches of holes where you just, you, you got on run. And I reckon that's what the course does. It does it, does it really well. You sort of get into a flow because it's a fair course. That's probably my big take out of that today. Right. Except for the third, which wasn't fair to you. <laughs> Hit by a real gust on that putt. <laughs> Pushed out even left. I think it was the last part of my life. You were that confident over that birdie putt. It, it just was, a, that's one of the worst putts I've ever seen. That's ridiculous. It is, it was, but it was brilliant. I got the giggles up after you tried another four times after, after it to knock it in. That's when you made the call, you're not scoring. It was a big, well, because <laughs> that's what I've been telling you. It's, it was good that we didn't score, it was a lot more fun. A lot more fun about not scoring. What did score well in both our minds was the playability of the course. From well-filled bunkers to really accessible pins, we just couldn't fault its user-friendliness. Um, but the greens are tricky. Like, you know, the greens are pure though. Yeah, absolutely so pure. I love those greens. I've got absolutely no excuses. Did you love them, did you? <laughs> no excuses at all. Some... <laughs> Yeah, I've got nothing. Speechless. I've got nothing. No. <laughs> There's just some work to be done there, that's all. I need a caddy. Yeah. Well, that's your job here you today. You gave me a bad read. You're, you're caddying me on Speak, the wine today. Sorry, speaking of caddying, mm. you, you did it for how long? And you don't listen to me when I give you the, the absolute I perfect line. Oh, I did. On the same hole, on the third. I didn't trust you. And no, you, have, you haven't got a lot of credit. Like, where'd, where'd you end up? Where'd you end up? <laughs> In the water. Exactly. Yeah I, I, yeah, I have to eat humble pie there. You, you had the right yardage, <laughs> but uh, I just I just could, didn't see it. Anyway, I paid the, paid the penalty, but you get that. Now, like most rounds, there were highlights and lowlights with the club in hand. Yet a trek around this open country estate style course left plenty of time for the inevitable banter between old mates. I'll tell you what, um, also too, as you find, um, I don't think I've ever seen a course that has up tees. And they're, 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 those mm. yellow tees. The yellow ones, yeah. Right. right on the edge of the fairways, um, so that I guess if juniors played or. Uh, well, that's it. So, from what I've been told, so Norman was asked to design the course, obviously, but um, the idea was to make it a real members course. So not a championship yeah. course, but one that's, that all the members can enjoy. But it could be championship from those back pegs. Like we, we uh, flirted with the back pegs on occasion. Long. No, I, I just, I like the idea of just, I actually like that mentality, making more fun, accessible yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Can it help, fact, help guys like you and you know, me a lot these days. Yeah. <laughs> but it was brilliant, those, those, as I said, the up tees, I've never seen it before. It was right on the edge of a, um, on the fairway. So the first shot, you had to find the fairway, it was right in front of you. That's like something that juniors can never do. They have to, and especially a lot of people, they can't carry the ball a long way. So having those tees so far down there where they can already be in the game and join and have some fun. I think it's great. Yeah. All right, so hit me with it, mate. Your favourite stretch out there. Favourite stretch? Yeah, a couple of holes in a row or something. I kind of have a couple of a couple of ones I really like. So we kicked, you know, 27 holes. So you're obviously going to find some pretty good ones. Uh, 20. One twenty-two, that little water area. I tend to, I tend to be attracted. You to did the water. like that. I love you? the water area, yeah. <laughs> which is because an oxymoron because you're in it a lot. <laughs> well, I'm not the one who rinsed it today. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. We'll come Bad back. Bad yardage. But flip to the other side of the course, you've got well on its own the thirteenth. That uh, thirteenth, the par three. Yeah, that's a stunning hole. That's probably the best. Aesthetic. You did rave um, about that. Out there. I love it. It's, I love a hole that just looks pretty. Yeah. I think, and that's that's all. The, the, the great golf holes, they do something like that. They jump at you. Yeah. So absolutely. I, I particularly love that stretch. Really, at the uh, start of the front nine, the, the genuine one, two, three. I liked really the second, third, fourth, fifth, or even really the sixth. That stretch there, overlooking the farmyards, and spectacular. I love that.
You didn't, but you didn't rate. You're telling me you didn't rate the first as much as, an, as a. No. Whereas I disagree. I reckon it's a great starter. It's a nice, gentle. I didn't rate it it's a gentle par four. Um, that's the thing. I thought I could get up there and hit it anywhere and still be okay. But you liked it because you felt like you got away nicely and it took the edge off things. Yeah, there's so, nothing worse than carding a six to start the round. And, and that's why course design is so intriguing. I think people that get it right, it, they get it right for all sorts of golfers, not just AI or well, champ. Well, you can't cater for everyone. No, that's right. So I think they should all cater for me and everything <laughs> will be fine. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Just make it easier. Make the game easier. Speaking of easy, deciding where we were going to have our post-round lunch could not have been less divisive. So this area, mate, I grew up here basically. Not my um, neck of the woods. Why'd you choose it? Oh, I had to Eastern and out to... Oh, because wine region is a... Yeah. It's one of Australia's best wine regions. During station, I mean this place is just. I remember when I was I remember when I was little. We used to drive this road all the time up to the country, and there wasn't many wineries. This was one of the ones that was here for a long time. But the development of this place is unbelievable. But the whole district is phenomenal. So um, I'm wrapped. You made the <laughs> made the journey out this way back to the old haunts. You're going to walk me uh, through a few of the wines today. That's your job. You can be my caddy today. So will be. Yeah. What do you got there? Just a stunning Pinot. Yeah. Beautiful, light, lighter. Perfect for today, actually. Really nice day. Yes. Goes with the food. You've started me on the, on the Chardonnay. First thing I want to teach you is hold the glass by the stem. It's there for a reason. Pal. Well, I'm partly there. All right. That way? No. Yeah, you get your little finger hooked around. There we go. I'll do the... Uh, <laughs> my hourly rate. What's your hourly rate? I was going to say, <laughs> you, you might be charging back. me more. <laughs> As we kept reliving our day at the Eastern Golf Club, it became crystal clear that this place was a lot more than just another golf club. Even when we went in after the, um, the first day and <laughs> we caught you in, in the game room, you said you were going to play some ping pong, which you told me was not Okay, can we get this, can we get this on record? Not ping pong, it's tennis, ta tennis table, Forest. table tennis. <laughs> You've got me even messing it up. Got I'll even ping pong, so I'm, I'm calling it ping pong if he does. Uh, no, then there you were. In a little game See, room, but... but doesn't that again? That sums up a mentality of a course. So you've got your really kid-friendly, family-friendly kind of environment. Mm. That's a. I think that's where we need you to go. Norman, Norman's created a little. Nailed it here. You got driving range. You got tennis courts. You got kids' rooms. You got fireplaces. You can do anything in there that you want to do at mm. the time. Of course, I'm a fire buff, so I don't mind sitting next to the fire 24/7. Yeah, I don't know your obsession with the fire. It was a most stunning day, and you're sitting there in front of the fire. What? You were sweet. You got sunburnt, and then you're <laughs> over the fire, warming your hands up. I, I think don't you know. Need, I'd get that. I check. agree. It is a little weird, but you should make an appointment. But the fire was on, and when the fire's on, you got to stand in front of it. It's just a, a law. You can't walk past a fire. Inside the clubhouse sits one of the best stocked pro shops in the country, with a range of apparel and golf accessories from golf's best brands. And as we all know. It's all about variety. Kipper even found himself in some pretty royal company. This foursome boasts 17 majors between them. The clubhouse itself is undoubtedly one of the finest you'll find in golf. With a spacious and relaxing members lounge, perfect for that bite and a drink, a games room for the kiddies, and decadent locker rooms with all the finer details covered off. We've well, got the cabins tonight. The cabins are in fact the homely Yearing Gorge Cottages. A collection of one and two bedroom country cottages overlooking the golf course and surrounded by a large mob of friendly kangaroos for most of the day. We chose to stay at the impressive five bedroom cottage on site, mainly for the extra space it provided us and, of course, the separate recreation room with pool table, large screen TV and bar. That and Kipper snores. Loudly. Whatever you do, don't uh, don't set fire to the cabins. <laughs> yeah. 
Cubans, no? Seinfeld? No, oh, yeah, yeah. I had, I had entree cooking. envy, and you've got mains envy. I don't. But you're the connoisseur of this. Am I allowed to go duck duck? No, that would make you a goose. On a side note, you know what I struggle with? Glasses. English? <laughs> no, well, that. A lot of things, actually. Do you want to know one of the things I struggle with? There's, there's, there's a better, better in it. Do you want that? I won't eat biscotti. Crackling? I'm not a bitch. Not crackling. Isn't it crackling? Biscotti. Oh. Well then, no. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the offer though. The bigger question, it's been bugging me all day. Where'd you get, why are you driving a Maz? Oh, I knew that, it, it's been eating you all day. I haven't told you. Me. I'm still not going to tell you, but if you play your cards right, mate, you can drive back to the course. No, that's right. I'm not driving, I've got my own lift. What's better than the Maz? What have you done? You've done something. <laughs> Overall, what a fun experience our trip to the Eastern Golf Club turned out to be. From the relatively kind open golf itself to the uber stylish yet traditional clubhouse and the local wineries, as well as a relaxing night in the Yarra Valley Cottage. This journey delivered on every front. If you like that video and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also the notification bell. But if you want to get all the inside stuff, head over to golfbarons.com and sign up for our inner safety. Boom.